Hey, today I'm going to show you how to make curves and the object selection tool your very best friends. Plus, there's a couple of bonus tips for keyboard and for cropping. So let's get on it. All right, kids, well, you come across this nice scene here, and this photo was taken with an iPhone. There's a nice, beautiful little lake, trees and everything. Let's make the object selection tool and curves your best friend. But first, as you can tell, it kind of looks a bit crooked. So let's hit your C for your crop tool, and then go up here to straighten, and just run a line across the shore here, and enter. There. Now it looks straight. So copy the layer. Now click the underlying layer and hit Alt L N B and it makes it a background for you. In a previous video, I set up a keyboard shortcut for masking all layers. And you can check that out up above here. Now hit Control Shift M and then it'll mask all objects. And bam, everything's done. Now, if you don't have the shortcut, Right click on the layer zero copy and go to mask all objects. It'll check out the pick, see what's going on, and bam, it's done. Now, let's go down here and throw our curves in there. Exaggerate it a bit because we don't know what each of these masks are. So hold your Alt key down, drag one down, one down, and drag one down. Now, if you want, hold your control button down and hit the top arrow here. And now you can go off and on to the different layers and you can see what's going on. Let's turn this one off and on. It's the grass, so let's rename it grass. Now the second one looks like it's the grass and the trees. We don't want that, we just want the trees. So let's leave the layer mask on. Hold your control button down and it'll grab the grass. Now let's go to the layer mask underneath, shift backspace, and we'll fill it with the foreground color, which is black. Now, the second layer mask, is just the trees. Control D to deselect and we shall rename it trees. Third one is the sky and the last one is the water. All right so far so good. Let's take a quick break and let our eyes adjust a bit. Just like to remind everybody to like, subscribe, ring my bell. It's free and it really does help. Thanks guys. Now, the cool thing is, we still have our properties up for our mask, so let's go to the very first one, which is the grass. Now, we don't have to have it over-exaggerated. Actually, I'm going to bring it down a bit. Go to my green channel, and maybe just bring it up a tiny bit. It's up to you. There is a certain level of what you might think is cool. So let's go to the next one, which is the trees. Click on the curves, uh, bring it down. Let's look, have a look. I want them a little bit darker. There we go. Again, let's go to the green channel. Let's see what it does. Bring it up just a bit in the middle there. Now uh, let's go to the sky. Now the sky looks a bit blown out. So let's bring it down, bring some of that detail back. Now, if you want to make it look a little bit sunny outside, go to the blue channel and bring it down a bit. Just introduce a bit of yellow to make it look like it's sunny. Now let's go to the very last one, which is the water. And let's bring it back here. Okay, we'll bring it back just a bit. Let's throw some blue in there to match the sky. Cool, very cool. All right, so now let's select all the layers. Control G, that puts them in a group. And now we can tell what you've done and how it looks. Before, after, before, after. Object selection tool and curves can be your best friend. With these methods, you can take any old picture that you take with your phone and make it quite extraordinary with tweaking just a little bit of curves and having individual masks for everything. Thanks for sticking out up to the very end. I'll see you soon.